Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I know that we're supposed to have this live session earlier, but um, ran into some technical difficulties, but we're here. Uh, thank you very much for joining. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Obviously, always bring you the best of travel tips around the world. You know how we do it here. We share information with regards helping you to actualize your travel dreams. So irrespective of where you want to move to, any country you have in mind, I probably have a video that describes it on my YouTube channel. So if you can think it, I probably have a video, whether it's through academics or through the career route or through permanent residency, you would find a video that helps you. Today, we're talking about moving to France. Yes, moving to France. And one of the reasons why we are discussing France is because I found that France is very cheap and there are cheap schools in France um, that people haven't tapped into yet. And that's why I have invited two guests today, two guests today who live in France and have all the experience about moving to France to come help us, tell us step by step how to do it. And so without wasting, you know, time, I will just bring them up so that we can get into the groove of things. Okay, I will bring them up so that we can get cracking. Okay, so I'm hoping they're joining now. Thank you very much for joining all from all over the world. Hi, how are you? Hello, good evening. I'm can you hear fine. Me loud and clear, you can hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you, sure. Perfect. Okay, so we have our first guest here. And we're just waiting for our second guest to join. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm doing great. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much, ladies, for joining me. I know you have, you know, tight, tight, very tight schedule, and um, we should have done this earlier. But you know, let's not spill the secret as to why this happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. First and foremost, let's have introductions. Um, who wants to go first? Just tell us your name, where you are, and what you do. Okay, so let me go. Okay, my name is Cecilia, and I'm a student in France. Um, I'm a student in Université de clermont Nouvelle, and I live in France currently, so that's basically it. Fantastic. Thank you, Cecilia. <laughs> okay, so hello, my name is Toby. Um, I graduated from the University of Grenoble Apps in Grenoble, EIO to be precise. Uh, I graduated last year and currently I'm working as a recruiter uh, for a company based in Europe, basically. Okay, so, bonjour les ma, bonjour les ma, si. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour. <laughs> okay, all right, I've got a few questions I want to ask you guys. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to take it one after the other and we can um, move gradually from there. This is going to be a very short session, just the way I like to do it. Um, first, I'm going to ask both of you, how did you get to France? Cecil, you go first and then Toby goes next. Oh, okay. How I got to France? I got to France through travel routes, um, um, study routes. I mean, yeah, I came to France through study, um, study abroad program and it's basically what brought me to France. I got registered in a school. I got admitted in a school. I did my study visa and I came to France to continue my studies here. Okay. What about you, Toby? Yeah, I came through the same way. Basically, I came for my master's, my second year of master's. And um, I came in uh, February 2020. Uh, this was due to something, actually. So, uh, but I I already know few people here, so I uh, put in my application. They helped me actually to also walk through my application. So I came to study as well. Okay, fantastic. Now, the meat of this gist is a few people. I think I made a post a couple of a, a couple of weeks ago, and I got very you know good comments from both of you about cheap universities in France. And I, I'm, 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 you know, I, I want to know, do you have a list of schools that you can give out to people watching? Um, schools in France that would probably cost less than a thousand euros that people can apply for. Do you, do you have a list? Should we do five, five? 
Cecile, you give us five schools, and Toby, you give us five schools. Okay. Uh, well, there are a couple of schools here in France that are pretty much cheap. Uh, majority of schools, the public universities are cheap because the France and um, the international students still use the French um, French tuition fee meant for the citizens. So most of the schools are cheap. So I have like a quick, um, let me see, a few number of them this kind I can mention now that's I'm very certain that they are cheap. Yeah, give us, give us, tell us. One of them is, okay, let me start with my school. <laughs> Université de Clermont Nouvelle is super cheap. Wait, wait, slow down now, slow down, slow down. Université de what now? Clermont Nouvelle. Okay, how do you spell that? Um, guys, I'm going to get a list of these universities and I'm going to put it on um, just down in the description box of this video. So it's Université de what? Clermont Nouvelle. How do you spell that Nouvelle? Uvain is A U V A U V E R G N E, yeah? Yes, that's it. Ah, perfect. That's the first one. Université de Clermont Uvain. Okay. How, how much is the tuition there? Uh the tuition fee for undergraduate program that's bachelor degree is 170 euros. And then for masters is 243 euros. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's number one. Number two? Number two is Université de um <laughs> sorry university of Grenoble. okay is that is that toby school <laughs> yes oh yeah okay, okay. what's the tuition there any idea um the tuition is still the same rate the same range One um, so i'm just gonna that afterwards but like yeah she um, yeah but there's okay. a okay the, that's been okay. me we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come to you. We'll come to you, Toby. Yeah, go ahead, um, Cecilia. Okay. So we have University de Lille. Lille. De Lille. Lille. That's L-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, yeah? Yeah. It's also a cheap okay. university. University de okay. Bordeaux. Okay. Yeah. University de Bordeaux. Okay. Um, University de... Yeah. I, I have, like, yeah, Montpellier. Okay, so University uh, de, de Lille, de Bordeaux, um, and the first one, what is Clement de what now? <laughs> Clement Uwe. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, guys, don't worry about the spellings of these universities. I'm going to put it in the description box of this video. I'm going to get the list from them so that I can just click and... Um, um, see the names of those universities thank you very much cecilia um toby you wanted to give us a list as well yeah uh yeah so i'm gonna start with my school of course uh, she already mentioned uh university of Grenoble. however there's something uh you should know about Gr university of Grenoble. so there are few um there's a lot of schools that came together to become university of Grenoble. so they have like different departments for example i was in the eio the Grenoble. Uh, it's IAE, sorry, it's E I O in French, it's I A E Grenoble. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, there's EMP, for example, um, there's, uh, there's, there's a quite a few of them. And for the schools, uh, the school fees, I actually paid 243 for my school fees as well, which was less than 200,000 error. Um, but um, the Edward Philippe, who was the prime minister before, passed a law that made things to change a little bit. So they'll tell you the school fees is actually 3,770 euros, uh, but they let you apply for an exemption. So you have to write a letter to apply for this exemption. It just, it doesn't come automatically anymore. Before it did, like I had it automatic. But now they will ask you to write a letter to actually get this. So it's like that in some of these public schools right now uh, because of the law that was passed. But some schools still choose to go for a very cheap route uh, and they just insist, oh, we are still going to retain this. While some of them actually decide, OK, we can take this, but then we can give some students who deserve it the exemption. Yeah, so one of them is the University of Grenoble. Uh, another one is Aix-en-Provence, uh, University Aix-en-Provence. Uh, there's University Paris-Saclay. It has so many, so many courses. 
uh, which is also, you know, the same price, 243. Uh, some of them can go up to 1,500. For example, there is a university, um, University de Bourgogne. It's in uh, Le Criso. These are for like the science students, like, it's they have so many courses like robotics and stuff like that uh there's university of toulouse there's university of rennes uh there's university d'angers uh there's university paris cité there's university psl paris so they're like that's three different universities wow. paris Saclay, well, uh... paris cité ps paris both of you both of you speak french right? I speak a little. <laughs> I hear you what you say. Sorry? You asked can you the hear question. Me? I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah I, I said both you of you speak French, correct? Yeah, I speak well. Wow. Uh, I speak to an ex. Okay, <laughs> well. okay. Let's, let's, not, let's not go there. But thank you very much for the list of these universities you've given. Now, I'm going to come back to you, Cecilia. Um okay. What what are the documents people need or people should have at hand when they want to apply to these French universities? Okay, yeah. Before I go that, before I say that, um, I would just want to add to sort of what Toby said. Some of these schools um have this. Some of the faculties have different tuition fee. So, for instance, engineering is just very different. It's like six hundred. So, don't expect it to be the same rate the same tuition fee with the other courses mm -hmm. so I wanted to add then for the documents you need there are a few documents you need uh, one thing is that French people are very much interested in the link between the course you did and um, what you applied what you're applying for so first you need your transcripts which have to prove that you did things that are related to what you want to do then you need your CV, Europe standard, yeah. You need your letter de motivation, that's application letter. And if you're going for English and French program, you have to write your letter de motivation in both English and in French. Um, if you are going for French program alone, you have to write it in French alone, or English alone, you have to write it in English. So that's just it. Then some of the courses that require um, language proficiency, like English and French. Okay, and let me ask, these courses you're talking about that are very cheap, are they all in English or some are in English, some are in French? Well, there are some that are in English and there are some that are in French. Basically, what changes is, what I realized that changes is that faculty of engineering is much more expensive than the other ones. So the rest are like the same range, like the same price almost. So. And it's in English. You did yours in English. No, I'm doing totally French, but then you have um, courses in English. Okay, okay. Toby, did you did you learn in English or in French? Uh, I did mine in complete English. Complete English. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I'm going to come to you to ask the next question. Can you tell us step by step? You have already done your master's um, based on what you said. What are the step by step process involved in? So I'm in Nigeria now. I want to come to France. I want to study in France. Can you tell us step by step so that we can know how to apply ourselves? Okay. So, um, because uh, France is this country that likes a lot of paperwork and stuff like that, they made sure to have a buddy that helps them to um, help students to come to France. So there's a uh, there's this buddy that is called Campus France. 
uh it's it's uh it's like uh I, I would say it's like a mini uh ministry of education but like uh to just assist students basically to make sure they put in the right documents during the application and to to also help them facilitate their in um uh, visa uh because for france as a student you do not have, you do not have visa interviews instead you have the interview of getting to know you with the people in campus france so uh the step by step the first thing would be to actually uh make sure you find a course that you want to do there are actually more than 1700 english courses to do in france so so many people fear the fact that oh it's it's in french yeah some courses are like there's some percentage of french and some percentage of english but some of them are also like complete english so once you're able to find this uh program actually there's a company called uh, travel getter uh, on instagram they help to do all of these things if you're having difficulties and you need help at travel getter is like the go to place so when you have all your documents that you you have the school that you looking for you know the date of opening so usually they are not open for very long and uh before you could apply to the school directly but right now it has changed right now you have to apply on on the etude on france platform so it's it what what platform is that can you repeat it again it's called etude on france can you spell that uh yes so um is E D U D E, mm -hmm. E and France, like this. Etude en France. E T U D E N T E. Yeah. Oh, okay. Etude yeah. don France. Okay. E T U D E, um, mm -hmm. E N and France. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Go on. So, uh, you have to make um your application on this uh, page if you are actually applying to the cheap uh public schools for the private school they have the exception of you applying to the school directly uh but for the private school you should expect to spend about 10000 euros minimum so for the public schools you have to apply on the student fronts before it opens actually from january to march and now they've changed it it's totally changed now now it's open only from october 1st to december 15 so, so it's open it opened now. today Yes, right. It just it opened today, so it happened right now. Uh, it's open right now, and um, it's uh, so you when you go to that page, you uh, select the schools that you want. You need to create an account. When you create an account, they ask you for information, and you do all of that. Then you have to start searching for the school that you want and you need to write all of the motivation letters that are required like she mentioned the let the motivation don't see sorry so <laughs> sorry i said sorry so um if it's in french you definitely have to show the b2 level of french if you're applying in english you don't need to have the english exam but you need to prove that you can actually speak that english so one thing you can do is to ask for your university your alma mater to send you a documents that shows and attests that you um actually studied for for all the years that you did and it was in english so this can also serve it has to come from your school anyways to say oh this person studied for four years and it was all in english the person's a native english person for example so this also works uh so when you put it there you need to wait for the information from the school so basically some of these schools also has a uh, parallel application so even if you've done on it to them france because you need a particular number then you can use it to do the parallel application when the school opens up its own website which is the e candidate okay 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 so yeah that's that's very straightforward and understandable let me let me ask you guys um a different question cecilia you 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 came to france um as an undergraduate correct yeah and um toby you came as a master student yeah yes so cecilia were you able to work while you studied as an undergrad I, yeah how many hours um well i worked for the the average okay the authorized hours of work is 20 hours a week but you know it's not mm. really a don't don't say more than that we i know yeah. i know yeah 20 hours 20 hours a week i know what about you um toby how many hours a week same 
Yes, it's 20 hours a week. But uh, in summer, you can apply for autorisation de travail and you can go beyond with you can that go beyond. authorization. Yeah. Okay. Toby, let me also ask you, um, people that have families that want to come with dependents, is it allowed? Okay, this is a question that I get like all the time. It is actually quite um, different from the UK for people to come uh, with family. You can do that based on two grounds in France. It is extremely difficult as a master's students but if you've been in france as a master's student and you have a job that you can prove um and if you've declared the tax of 12 months period which is one year at least and you have about 24 meters square of your room uh which enables two people so the minimum is 24 meters square for two people then you can apply for your uh your spouse to actually come join you it's called the regroupement familial so they can join you, but they cannot come with you. You have to be here. You have to have a job that is enough to sustain two people. And um, the other route people use is to apply for a PhD. So PhDs in France are usually three years and your family can join you in six months, basically. Mm -hmm. So when you're here and you've you know, been a PhD student uh, for six months and you have uh, an apartment that is, uh, that is enough, then you can apply for your family to come. They will give them this visa called Passport Talon. That's what they're going to give them, which even gives them, uh, which is actually a very good, like it's a strong uh, visa compared to the ones students have. There's a difference in it. So the best thing is for them to do PhD. So in six months, the family can join. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Toby. Cecilia, this, this is for you. A lot of people always ask me, people that have second class lower, you know, people that have HND, you know, they, they always say, why, why don't we ever get space? You know, I know UK accepts these people. What about France? Okay, for HND, yeah, they <clears throat> like I said earlier, France is more interested in what you did, what you want to do. accept you as far as you have your results showing that okay you did the study and this is you this is the equivalence because here in france the equivalence of a bachelor degree program is back plus cat so and in um, hmd is like back back plus cat. that's four years after your secondary school so with your results you can come and study here and for your Second class lower. For those that have second class lower, well, personally, I haven't seen anyone that have second class lower that is studying here. Yeah. But then the thing I noticed about French system is that can you be able to prove to them that, yes, I can do it, I can study here? Your results, your transcripts, they are more interested in your transcripts, the courses you did in your school while schooling, are they linked to what you want to do? Your results in those courses, your CV, your CV is another thing. Your CV has to prove to them that, okay, you have knowledge of all these things. You can defend it, you can, even though you have second class lower, but that doesn't stop you. So that's the basic thing they check is your letter de motivation, your CV and your transcripts. Does in fact your letter the motivation gets you a good point? Like you have to explain so much to them, like why you should stand a chance in getting admitted in their school. So fantastic, that, fantastic. Thank you. You are you are close to becoming applying for permanent residency now, correct, Cecilia? Oh uh, well, it's not so close, but still running for some years. Like okay, two years. okay. Okay. And, and Toby, you did mention that you're a recruiter. Do you recruit from Africa? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't. You have to be, um, you have to be, an... yeah. So... You have to be, you so have you have to be, to be in be... France. 
you have to be you, not necessarily France. You have to be an European Union person. You have to have the right to work in any European country because most of the jobs are actually for you to work in Lisbon, Portugal. Even though we give all of this, um, uh, there's this program called the Atlantic uh, Program, which okay. is location package with everything. They basically do everything for you, but you need to just have like um, a working permit, a valid one in Portugal, or you should just have any passports in any European Union. Basically. All right. Thank you very much for answering that. Cecile, a lot of people are going to start um, wanting to follow you and hop into your DMs. How can they contact you, Cecilia? Oh, well, there's my Instagram accounts, my Instagram what, detail. Yeah, oh. what's your Instagram account? It is I am, I am, right? Yes, I am Cecile underscore Mitch. Cecile is one L, is it? Yes, one L and then E. Underscore Mitch. That's, that's, um, I am Cecile. And Toby, what's your... Uh, it's Cecile Toby underscore. Life with Toby underscore. Okay. Life with... To be underscore okay now look look guys um we've been talking about moving to france and these two beautiful women have come here to share their experience of living in france and how they did it and they've given us outstanding figures 200 and something euros 600 euros that's ridiculously cheap and they've explained the process involved and the documentation you need the handles on instagram is i am cecile underscore mitch and life with Toby underscore. Feel free to follow them. Feel free to send them DMs. Remember that they are busy and they've got their own schedules as well. Uh, but I'm sure that they would help you um, as much as they can. Um, Toby, you did mention a, 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 a company that helps people with admission or something. Did you, what, what, what was the name? So it's called Travel Getter. It's at... Cecile, she's available. Her handle is I am Cecile underscore Mitch. I think Cecile was the first person to comment on that one of my posts like that. And she was like, That is my school. I'm going to go. And I was like, oh, yeah, Let's do this. <laughs> I'm like, Let's do this. Let's help people. And um, I also went into Toby's DM and I was like, Toby, co -co 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 -co, I'm here. Um, I will not let you rest until you come and share this news. And they've been very, very helpful. Look, ladies, I'm not going to keep you further. Thank you very much for sharing this information to people. I'm going to leave this video on my Instagram feed and it's also going to be on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Um, have a very lovely evening. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Bosake. <laughs>